Hey everyone, it's Edge. This video gives a performance comparison between the Raspberry Pi 3 and the Raspberry Pi 4 for running the TensorFlow Object Detection API both with and without Google's Coral USB Accelerator. The comparison will show what frame rate is achieved when running three different versions of an SSD MobileNet model, a regular TensorFlow version, a TensorFlow Lite version, and a version that's been compiled to run on the Coral USB Accelerator. We'll show how the models perform on both a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and a Raspberry Pi 4 4GB version. Okay, let's go out to the car. All right, guys, the setup I'm going to use for this performance comparison is I've got a Raspberry Pi and a webcam taped to my dash, and I'm going to drive around the beautiful town of Bozeman, Montana, and run real-time object detection as I'm driving. As an added bonus, I've got the Raspberry Pi hooked to my audio receiver so I can see what's happening as I'm driving around. All right, let's get started with the performance comparison. As you can see, the TensorFlow detection models run significantly faster on the Raspberry Pi 4 than they do on the Raspberry Pi 3. Frame rate is also improved by using a TensorFlow Lite model instead of a regular model. On the Pi 4, the Lite model's frame rate is about 2.5 FPS faster than the regular model. The models running on the Coral USB accelerator have a high frame rate for both the Pi 3 and the Pi 4. The Pi 4 runs at a blazingly fast frame rate of 34 FPS when using the USB accelerator. This is more than enough to allow it to be used for real-time detection applications that require fast response times. The SSD MobileNet models used for this comparison are the default models provided by Google, which have been trained on the MS Coco dataset. However, you can also use your own custom trained detection models and still obtain similar frame rates. Here's a custom bird, squirrel, and raccoon detection model I trained being run on the Pi 4 with a USB accelerator. I'm working on some tutorials showing how to set up TensorFlow Lite on the Raspberry Pi and how to use the Coral USB Accelerator. The videos will be out in a couple weeks, and when they're finished, they'll be linked here. In the meantime, there's a written version of the tutorials, which is linked in the video description below. I hope this video gave you the information you need to decide on what to use for your TensorFlow project. I'll see you in a couple weeks on my next TensorFlow Lite video. Thanks for watching!